beautiful people we are current. Oh my god, the music is so loud. I can't talk over this. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> anyway, we're currently at Donon Donkey living our Japanese fantasy, pretending we're in Japan. So, we're gonna get some Japanese snacks. This is the video when I was a kid. What should we get? I'm gonna look Kirby, but I only want Kirby. I don't want to care about the other holes. And you gotta try your luck. Oh god, I'm here with Angela. Okay. All right. So we're gonna get some food to eat and some snacks to try with you guys. It's not, it's it's chili crab flavor, but it's also laksa flavor. No, no, you want Japanese, right? Fine. We'll see you living our Japanese fantasy. What's this? Cheese curry. Can we get the curry uh, one? Yeah, this, one is oh, this is wild. It's not nice then. I mean, we're only buying one, so it should be fine. No kimchi. <laughs> kimuchi, is that a Japanese version? Kimuchi. I'm living. I love it. We usually don't pay attention to this section, but. Dude, I don't even go to Don Don Donkey because I'm like. We got purples. Yeah. Banda. This is like banchan. Oh, we should get this beef suriyaki. Pork katsu. We are currently struggling to find the sushi. You'd think in like a Japanese store the sushi would be everywhere, yeah. but it's not. We found the mother load. Ooh, salmon mantai kobe. We get, we get it last because refrigeration. Okay, that is smart. That is smart. That's big brain energy. Ooh, oh my god, I can't wait for sushi. I'm ready. <gasps> Guys, are you seeing this? What's that thing where it's like buyer fatigue or like decision fatigue where it's just What's it's like when there's so much choice you don't know what to do <laughs> guys we came here for this we're gonna get drunk on camera and like talk about life with you guys so it's gonna be fun I, I don't get a lot to we should we should get two it's like one <laughs> each oh shit budget for budget <laughs> for budget reasons we'll get what <laughs> yeah okay, we're gonna get this one <laughs> had really good matcha at Suzuki Gourmet Coffee. The only thing I don't really like about the place is that it's very Ulu. It's all the way in Boon Lane, they take a bus to the place. And the bus out of the place comes in intervals of like 30 minutes. It actually turned around like 11 to And the next bus is coming at like 11 to 4. So now I have to walk all the way to the MRC. So that's fun. the way to the next stop and my glasses are so foggy and I'm sweating buckets because it's so humid. It started raining so I actually wanted to explore this garden area with you guys. It's actually a Japanese inspired garden in Singapore. But the rain said not today. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm joined today with my best friend Angela and today we're gonna be having a Japanese mukbang We're just gonna eat all these delicious foods and talk to you guys about life. What are we talking about today, Angela? I forgot actually <laughs> Okay, we will talk as we go on. I'm just so hungry yeah. 
Yeah, I'm sorry, I cannot think. Yeah. Let's eat. Which one let's, you let's show the good people what we got. So there's like sweet and spicy chicken karage. Oh. Yeah. Then we got some salmon mentaiko. Sushi? Yeah. This is 1280. She's a little pricey, but like cheaper than Genki sushi, so we don't mind. And then takoyaki. And some eggs. Yeah, because the ones that you marinate. Yeah, apparently a lot of people eat these eggs with ramen, so today we're gonna try and see. How that is. We got the classic Nissin cup noodles in the curry flavor. Yeah. And for dessert, cheesecake. And no, that's not all, folks. We also got some alcohol, so this it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a fun time. It's like, how, what time is it now? It's What's too that? early to drink. It is tough to eat, but you know, in European countries, people drink during lunchtime. They look European to you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, I'm so hungry. Let me see the Japanese word for it. I don't know the Japanese. Ikutekimasu. <laughs> I put the words down yeah. for this. I'm gonna say <laughs> cultural <laughs> appropriation. This brown man is. <laughs> I'm trying my best to live my Japanese fantasy and pretend I'm that, in Japan. Yeah, because you were supposed to go to Japan. Yeah, last I was year. supposed to go to Japan before um, university started. And the panettone. <laughs> the panettone, the panorama. Oh, I'm just on the wrong side. Left-handed, right-handed. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's nice. This is not bad. I'm good. You know, we wanted to do this mukbang video, but we're such silent eaters. So when we yeah. have food, we're just like this. This dead silence. This is good. Oh, she's flat. <laughs> I mean, she had a rough. She had a rough, <laughs> she had a rough <laughs> transit. Okay, after I eat this, you should let me talk. Give me one bite. I have to have so I blanked out like I say. So Marcus, you are single? And not ready to mingle. <laughs> Why is that? Okay, so like, I know a lot of people are like, oh, you're single, Should, don't you wanna get a, like, partner? But the thing is, I'm pretty happy being single. I know sometimes I might complain that like, I need someone to like, hold me. Yeah, you do complain a lot. Oh my god! You know, the thing is, like, I have no time really? for a relationship. Yeah. Really? This doesn't require that much time. It's just like yeah, a friendship, but with all the benefits. Also, I've heard, like, people say that if you have really good friends, you'll be less inclined to mm. be in a relationship. My wife and Rike always wanted to be with a girlfriend. So why are you in a relationship? Is this friendship, <laughs> or is this friendship right now for you? I've always liked being in a relationship. I think I've always tried being a girlfriend rather than being single. I've never been in a relationship, so I wouldn't know. Wait, what are your thoughts on, like, polyamorous relationships? <laughs> Fine. I personally cannot do it. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Okay. Like as much as it is a fantasy of some sort. I think I can handle it. I only have energy for one person. I barely have energy for myself, let alone another person. Can you imagine all the dates you have to keep up with? <gasps> so I'm gonna have Wednesday, person A, Thursday, person B. Poly polyamorous relationship. Yeah. Sure that. Fell. You have to make sure that each person gets like enough attention and no one gets left out. I cannot. You know I love attention. Same. This is on YouTube. Hey. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We're supposed to review the food, but like, I just haven't. Um, everything is great so far. Everything is great. Takoyaki is delicious. I'll buy this again actually. Five ninety. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. Rather than go to the Japanese restaurant, you can just pick out some stuff from Donkey. Yeah. Have a Moment of silence for the Gyeolong Bazaar that oh. is still not open this year because of the panorama. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you holding that? You know I love bonita flakes, especially at hot takoyaki Because it looks like it's breathing it looks like a live being Because it's a new thing So organically It's just been here all night so oh it's been like one year since the panettone Happy one year anniversary! It's like past that eh? And it like ate both Hari Raya's And now we're back in what? Phase 2? Yeah. Oh yeah, how's life in Singapore for the panettone? They say we're the best country to live in. She dried it up. <laughs> this is really good food, bro. Yeah. Bro. Open the egg. This egg kept spilling so in my bag. <laughs> Maggie and me who? Wait, I'm at convert. For real? Actually, this three got bits and all. Yeah, you don't even get that in Maggie me. Yeah, the Maggie me is just powder. But it's quite expensive though. These are bits of meat. Yeah. What in the premium? Hey, but this you, is one ninety for like. But if you keep the keep a stash in your house, yes, they like stall for the day. This is such a good meal. Love it. Mean, what are you supposed to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> so this is what I can do, mobile. I've watched this like thing where like dating apps keep us single because it treats your mind to kind of enjoy having variety instead of like you narrowing down and like. You, you get what I mean, I can't articulate Honestly, but like, people think that if you have more options, it's easier to get into relationship But it's actually harder Because some people just don't present well on People just don't present well on online and social media like me I'm not cute online You are No, I'm like, I don't look like girlfriend material online, you know mm -hmm. So I've never had luck having like 
like Tinder and all of that. Also, I hated it so much, you know. It just made you feel like crap, right? Do you think abs like really, really takes a toll on your self esteem? Because you see all these guys with like rock hard abs. Uh huh. How is my kick loving ass supposed to compete with that? Look at what I'm eating right now. People be like counting calories and going to the gyms that are now closed. Haha. <laughs> but. Do you think guys have like beauty standards? There, there's definitely beauty standards for guys and there's like and like guys do feel body dysmorphia and like I would consider myself like quite fit but I'm not exactly like muscular mm -hmm. but even at times I'm like oh I wish I was <laughs> yeah I wish I was like buff but then again like I'm, I'm too lazy I can't nobody be bothered nobody wants to be buff and Dude, so many people want to be buff that's why they work but out but no, no girls really actually want a buff guy I'm just eating the yolk no I eat the yolk first I don't like the yolk then you just give me the yolk <laughs> Then you say la! Why are you? Anyways, if you wanna be in a relationship and have a hard time, you know, with Tinder and all the dating apps, it just means that the person you're looking for is not the type to use dating apps. You know, there are other ways to find people and meet people. I just wanna say that we recorded a whole ass mukbang and we talked about a lot of stuff and the camera wasn't even rolling. Like, I have the audio because we recorded the audio on my phone, but there's no footage, guys. There was some quality content right there. So, in Singapore, we have this thing called a BTO. Which is like a build-to-order flat. Basically, pre-ordering your houses. Before your... it's even built. So, you're just reserving that spot for you. Yeah. So, in Singapore, like, ordering a BTO, usually order it with your partner. Straight partner. Heteros. Yes? Just, like, <laughs> keep that in mind, huh? Heteros. Straight people. Hetero so, they order a flat. And that usually means you want to marry them. When people like get on their knees and propose, we order a flat. They, 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 yeah, they actually say, Do you want a BTO with me? And the yeah. girl will be like, Oh my god, yes! Yeah. So that's the equivalent, basically. Mm -hmm. The only difference is this BTO thing, once you order, you don't get it immediately. You take like that three to, three to five, five years. years. So, what happens during that? Three to five years. Why do you break up? Yeah, oh my god, it's all drama. That's so scary, right? You pay a deposit on the house, okay? And a deposit is a lot. Although, like, in the long run, having a BTO is like a cheaper way to get a house. Mm -hmm. And it's new. And everything is like catered to you. But the downside is, you gotta wait. And you don't know what's gonna happen in the future. What if you break up? I wanna break up! What if the marriage doesn't go well? And the thing is like, if you really decide to get married later on, you still have to wait 3 to 5 years to get your own place. And you're still probably gonna be living with your parents. With your married person. Yeah, so... Married person. Spouse. Yeah. So technically when they're doing a BTO, although they are choosing to commit, they're not necessarily ready for marriage. Unless you really are, then good for you, but the period between BTO and proposing can be long. Depends on how, how long it is, uh, yeah. And if you don't wanna wait, you can always go through the resale route. But those are really expensive. Expensive as well. Those are more expensive than a BTO. The like single people can only apply for flats when they're like 35. The next part of the video where we yeah. due to budget reasons we only afford one. one. <laughs> <laughs> um, if y'all have not watched World of Extra, Stan Stan is my man. He drank strong zero and he was like, this is this is nine percent alcohol. Yeah, for this. So we have, we have ice. Get wasted. Yeah, we have more ice. To dilute it a bit. Honestly, I'm not here for the alcohol, I'm here for the taste of it. I'm here for the alcohol. I'm here to get wasted. I'm just here to like taste it. Yeah, I'm, I'm so curious to try Strong Zero. Double me, swallow me, drip down the side of me. Oh, it doesn't taste like good. Oh, it tastes pretty good. Oh, no. oh wait, no. The alcohol is there. <laughs> This is 9% alcohol. It's not bad la. It just tastes like it's very bitter. Got lemon flavor, okay? Yeah, but like the the things just taste like medicine. Woo! We got this. Uh... It's still open already. <laughs> Sorry, I got excited. Soft and mild oh, taste. taste. Cheesecake. Do you like this kind or the dead kind? She's so short. Oi. So mean. Oh, and the cheesecake is short too. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> please. Okay, a slice of the cake. This bitch didn't cut a slice for me. Are you feeling the Japan to see? It's okay. It's not cheesy. Sure. Oh my God, I didn't show this first. It jiggled. Wobble, it wobble, nice. wobble, wobble. It's more bread than cheesecake. Yeah, I would put frosting in it. This alcohol is so expensive. Eh? This is six ninety. As much as I want to be an alcoholic and have fun and be youthful or whatever, I cannot afford it. Give me a moment to reflect on how the clubs are closed. Not all. Eh? <laughs> <gasps> what is that? I have no idea what but flavor it's nice. Is this? It's like a chocolate, it's salted chocolate. And buttercream. What? That looks so good. Mm -hmm. this yeah. How big you want? Thanks. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. Just like this cake. I've got many layers. I'm a soju person. Oh yeah, I do be soju person too. I think we can get alcohol with the cake. And the cake gets more attention. Because <laughs> we are we're foodies, not alcoholic. Mmm. Pretty good cake. What's like the biggest culture shock? from living in the Philippines and living in Singapore. I guess the food. 
the food was so weird. Like, not weird lah, but <laughs> I love the food. How the people gonna be like? <laughs> no, 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 it was great. I think it was just hard for me to understand because I didn't know what the food was. Because a lot of the food was in like Malay, Chinese. Oh yeah, that's true. Like nasi lemak. That's not like a word. Yeah, you don't know. <laughs> you don't understand. It's not a word. It's like chocolate like, huh? That's not what the hell it is. Like, there's no indication of what the food is from the name. One or two years. <laughs> I only ate chicken rice because that's the only th- food like I knew. Chicken and rice. Yeah, simple. like it's. I understood what it no was. No false advertising. Yeah, it's like I, I knew it was there was some cucumber. I knew the taste. What is nasi lemak? What is chocolate? Fat rice. What is it? Migoreng? What is that? What are those things? I didn't understand. I was also like very conscious of mispronouncing the words because mm-hmm. they were so unfamiliar to me. So I didn't want to be laughed at when I was ordering at the auntie. So I just like wouldn't eat, I guess, or I'd order chicken rice, but I'd pack my own food. I remember there was one time in primary school when I brought a hard-boiled egg and it was still in the shell and then I cracked it in front of my friends and said, why are you cracking an egg? It's like, it's hard-boiled. It's like, what? They didn't know what a hard-boiled egg was. What? So I cr- I opened it and peeled it and they were like, oh! It didn't like. <laughs> oh, because in Singapore, like, they always eat like the, the rice. Maybe, Somewhat, like, I guess. For breakfast. I didn't know, with but. The but hard-boiled egg isn't so uncommon, like. In no, Singapore, a lot of people eat nasi lemak with like the fried egg. Mm. But in Malaysia, we eat nasi lemak with the hard boiled egg. Why? I don't know. So I was like, why is everyone eating fried egg? I prefer fried. Do you prefer fried? I like hard boiled. Right. Hello, I'd like to apologize that the video got cut off. Each video that we recorded was about like 30 minutes long, but the thing cut off at like 14 minutes. So there's no outro, and I'm sorry that so much stuff got cut out. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. It's a box of chocolates. You don't know what you're gonna get. It's it's really random. I mean, it's chocolate. So you're gonna get chocolate. Yeah, like you know you're gonna get chocolate, but what kind of chocolate? That is the question. Anyway, stay safe and healthy wherever you are, and I'll see y'all beautiful fight. Well, huh? And I'll see you beautiful people in another video. Bye.